Okay, I'm here with Julian Bethwaite, legendary skiff yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sailor and designer, and designer of the 29er and 49er. First of all, there's another change going through with the 49er, here with the new spinnaker. Why, why do you have the changes to what is essentially a, a one design boat? The, basically, things re evolve. So the old spinnaker was 20 years old. Uh, it was designed around people sailing the boats 20 years ago. People have got better at sailing the boats. And so therefore, boats are going faster, apparent wind angles alter, everything alters. And so therefore, the spinnaker was simply being exceeded by the performance of the crew and the performance of the boat. So you have to change the, the sails as the sailors learn to sail the boats faster and faster. It won't be the last one. What is the biggest change that you've seen in the style that people are, are using to sail 49ers over the years? Oh look, the carbon mass brought about a large number of changes. The rig loads went up, the structure of the hull we had to alter, uh, the sails started to be destroyed because of the load they were applying to the sails, and the boats simply are going, uh, they're operating at a much higher speed for longer. Um, so, you know, the, it's, it's, a, it's a domino thing. You, you end up with changing foil sections, you end up changing the way people alter the cunning him to get the jib to go flatter so they can go higher. I mean, you, you just can't possibly game plan every change. It, it's just a raft of them wash out. And the way the Englishman sails compared to the Australian, compared to the Brazilian, compared to the New Zealander now, I mean, the, the differences are minute, but they make such a change or such a difference to BMG and speed around the course. It's quite extraordinary. Seeing the same thing now with the 29, but also with the 49. <laughs> this is your fourth or fifth time that you've come along to the RYA Suzuki Dinghy Show. What do you enjoy about this show and um, what's on display? Um, look, there's a lot of beautiful timber boats. I mean, they're just extraordinary. and, and the, the love of the English for their what we would deem archaic classes, but I mean these classes are still loved and, and have merit and worth and everything else. Um, and there are a lot of new ideas here. I mean there's some quite interesting stuff. I would think this show and Mets are probably the two best in the world. And do you have an equivalent in Australia for the Dinky Show? Or no, is not really. No, we don't. We we have the Sydney Boat Show, but it's far more yacht and big powerboat orientated. We we don't have anything quite like this. And you've been working with Ovington Boats for a long time now. What do you, what do you value in a partner such as Ovington? Oh, look, the best thing about old Dave Ovington, and, and Chris is now doing it probably better, is you pay your, you know, you pay your deposit. You say you want it here on this date, and that product arrives there on that date, and it, and it is exactly what you're expecting to get. It's not better. It's not worse. It's exactly what you expect to get. So consistency, performance. They do a, you know, they just keep on producing a good boat time and time again. And I mean, from my point of view now, being operating out of Asia or anything else, we've sort of forgotten about Asian manufacturing and come back to the English manufacturing, but just because it's reliable. And your own sailing. What are you doing out on the water yourself nowadays? Ah, oh, look. I sail every Wednesday afternoon on a Far 40, um, but for kicks I go multi-hull racing, uh, normally up in uh, Queensland where the water's warm and uh, you tear around and scare the bejesus out of you, but uh, you have a lot of fun. Yeah, Brilliant. it's great. It's wonderful. Okay. Well, Julian, thank you very much indeed for your time. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you.